Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to create a while loop in C++. So to begin with, my program is set up with a main structure for a C++ program. And inside my main function, I'm going to put in a variable for a count. We're going to have this program count and repeat something over and over again. So I'm going to create an int data type for a whole number. And I'm just going to say count and we'll start it equal to zero. And then for my while loop, we start with the keyword while. Now my program automatically fills in the basic structure here so we can see while. And then we have a condition. So the condition is what we wanted to check to see if something is true. And then if it is true, it's going to execute the statements that are inside the opening and closing curly braces. So you can see here I have to fill in a condition and then I have to fill in my statements, my actual C++ code statements of what I want it to do. So for this, let's just say our condition is as long as count is less than two. And if that evaluates to true, then what we wanted to do are our statements. So we'll put in a couple of things here. Let's just say C out, and let's say welcome, the count is, and then we'll put in the value of what count is. And we'll put in an end line so it'll be on a different line. So while the count is less than two, so what's going to happen is when it gets to here, it's going to say count is zero, zero less than two, true, and it's going to run welcome the count is and then the value of count. So I'm going to run this and you should be able to see the results down here in this bottom pane. And we can see that it just keeps running over and over again saying the count is zero. So let me stop this. So it is doing exactly what we said. Right, while the count is less than two, say welcome the count is and display the value of count. So count is zero and then comes up here, count is still zero, welcome the count is zero. Comes back up, the count is still zero. So that means when you have a loop, you need to build in a way for it to eventually become false. Otherwise, we end up with what's called an endless loop and it'll just keep running and running and running and never ending. So what we'll do is let's change the value of count. So we're starting at zero and we eventually want it to become false. So let's say plus plus. Plus plus will increment count by a value of one. So now if I run this, let me clear this out first. And when we run this, It'll say welcome the count is zero and welcome the count is one. So you'll notice zero makes this true and when it gets down to here, the value of count is incremented so now zero becomes one, comes back up, says count is one, one is less than two, that's true. So then it prints our welcome statement. Then it comes down here and it increments count again two is now three, comes back up here, three is less than two, which makes this false, and then that ends this while loop. So if I came down here and I put in another C out statement, and let's just say finished counting, then we'll be able to see when this actually ends. So let me run this again, right? And you can see zero, one, so it was doing all this stuff in the loop and when it ended, when the count became three, it didn't run welcome the count is three. Instead it came down, exited out of the loop and then started in running the rest of the program. So what are some things that we can do with this? Well, we can change the value of what we're checking against. So if we wanted it to print out more, say we wanted it to print out to 10. Now if I made this 10, then it would only go as far as nine because 10 would not be less than 10. So I need to either change this to 11 or I can change this to less than or equal to. So let's try that one. 
So let me run. All right, and I'll make this a little bigger so we can see here. Started at zero. Each time it went through the loop, it increased the number by one. And then when we got to 10, right, this has changed to 10, 10 less than or equal to 10, so it prints that. Comes down through here, increments again, so now count becomes 11. 11 is less than or equal to 10. That's what makes it false, so it stops when the value of count is 11. So that is a very basic example of a while loop in C++.